the uh, carving show down in uh, William Rush here in Media at the Penn State Brandywine Campus. And we have Fred. Hi, Fred. Hi. Fred Henderson is part of the Lancaster County Wood Carvers. Again, we have quite a few here this weekend. And he is an excellent carver of carousel horses. And do you want to explain a few things about your horses, Fred? Well, I think that he was on the video before. Uh, right. I think I you do it in pieces, right? You yeah. glue them together. Yes, I do. Uh, something I didn't have the last time was a diagram here. Oh. Of, uh, how do you put what pieces go into a carousel horse? Um, of course, this is the horse, which is this one here. Okay, I'll show them that after we. And then you can see, you can get close up to see that. that that's one side. Right. And this is the other side. Okay. And these are the legs, um, how I put them together. This is one side of the, of the front leg, and that's the other side. That's on the left-hand side. Okay. Then on the right hand, well, on the right, at the right rear leg, that's one side, and that's the other side, and same way. Okay, but there is a piece in the middle, correct? Yeah, well, okay. here... This is the, what's in the middle. Oh, okay. This is the middle of the horse. And these are the two sides. This is one side. In fact, that's the left side. I don't think I have the right side on Okay. There. But, uh, oh, I see. It, this part here, all these goes into the, into the body of the horse. And you can see where it's, it's cut out. It's cut out. Um, here and you now know, here. Oh, I see. It's put together yeah. right in the middle there. Yeah, and this is. I get one inch plank, and I all together. So my horse is six inches wide. So there's six of them. Wow. Okay. Six planks. Right. And then here's. A, I have it to the right thickness. What I my head is, and and that's a cut out. And then this is the neck because you have to have the green running the right way because of the mouth and everything and this gives it strength that little part right. up there you don't want strength. it going up and down bust off. right and then you can see where i have all my parts cut out and it fits right together now this is this is without the head right. and this is with and the neck and then this is the whole thing put together wow and, and then you round it from there then you start carving uh, the legs first. I always carve my legs first. I don't, unfortunately, right here you can see the legs, how they are all carved mm -hmm. in there. And they're, they're all carved first. Then, then I go with the head. The head. The head is completely carved, sanded and everything. And then that is put on to uh, the base over here. The body. Okay. Right there. And you take notice of the square part in there. Mm -hmm. And that's so I can get, I make a, I have a cutout, right, well, no, that is the, the head. Right. This is the body. That's the neck that, area, Yeah, right? that's the neck area. And that's what that square yeah. piece goes into. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, there is no screws, there are no nails in my pieces, all interlocked together. It's more like... So interlocked and glue. Yeah. It's, and more than likely, it's like a puzzle. Yeah, I noticed that. It's like a jigsaw before you put it together. So this is the one he was explaining, folks. There you go. There's the American flag. That's cool. And the eagle. So you did the head first, or well, the legs first, mm -hmm. then the head, and then the body. Yeah. And you use power tools or all hand tools, or what, what do you use? Power? No, I don't hand carve it. No, no power at No all. power. Okay, Everything there you go, is folks. Cut pretty close to size. Okay, so and there's an, a little extra on the side. On there. You want to never cut down to the very line. Right. So carve a little extra. Okay, and I know I see you're doing some other things. Yes. Uh, uh, what did you want at the show here uh, today, uh, this weekend? I so see you I have some blue ribbons. Yeah. <laughs> the this year I carved the horse. Right. The penguin. Mm -hmm. And the hummingbird, 
and a uh, morning glory. And okay. This here, was, I really enjoyed doing that. It, it was so fun. It's very, very delicate. And uh, again, power or at all uh, power carving. Okay, so all this is power carving, but the horses are not. Right, that's correct. Okay. All right, that's correct. Very good. And these eggs are what they call relief carving. Okay. A little bit of that. Very nice. Oh, they're super for um, ornaments. I just yeah, just, Christmas ornaments. It just hit me. I don't uh, know why it took that long, but. And these for any time. Very nice. Uh, and then all my uh, giraffes. giraffes. They are they're cute. All hand carved. Right. Um, in fact, they're all carved on one block of wood. Right. And these I did uh, three or four years ago. Uh, they're like little carousel figures. Yes. And uh, I, Very I do nice. that too. And uh, I right, see so you have some pins over here. Let's yeah. take a look at that real quick. They're all hand painted. All um, duck heads, basically. Very good. Well, Fred, thanks a lot for your time. I'm sure people appreciate and learn how to put these together, or how yeah. they were put together. Yeah. And uh, maybe we'll see you at the Lancaster show. Yeah, you All right. All right. Thanks, Fred. You bet.